They say that familiarity breeds contempt. It also breeds the Dolphins and the Cowboys, who play in Big D to start Dallas's three-game homestand. It's Papa Don Shula against his son David, offensive coordinator for the Cowboys. It's Jimmy Johnson and backup quarterback Steve Walsh against their ex-offensive coordinator at the University of Miami, Gary Stevens, who now has that role with the Dolphins. It's almost time to bring in Richard Dawson for the family feud, or at least it's time to bring in Axe, who I guess this week you found that Southern Florida is abuzz with the fact that the Dolphins have a playoff shot. Well, many of us in South Florida spend a lot of time proving that you don't have to pass an IQ test to move there. <laughs> uh, and this week is no exception, because one thing we could usually figure out was the Dolphins. No more. In my ongoing pursuit of NFL geography, I found my way to this swampy, placid little pond next to the Dolphin practice facility in North Miami. What does it mean? Well, it's strangely apropos. Don Shula's teams for years have been known for solid consistency. But these days, the Dolphins, at six and four, are never quite sure whether they're gonna leap with glory or sink right to the bottom. My best explanation for it all is when you start getting too comfortable, those when the teams knock you off. And I think the team is uh, just, just doing whatever it takes, making plays whenever guys are called on to make plays to help our team win. And that's something and last year that we didn't do. Last year, when, when we had chances to win games, we weren't taking advantage of it. Little things, big things. Well, the biggest thing right now is the reborn defense of the Dolphins. You Green. A force once again. John offered all back after a long holdout. And EJ Jr., a potential impact player, has probably won the biggest battle of all. I work as a therapist in drugs and alcohol during the offseason. And I look at my case uh, as being a pioneer of trying to turn things around because I don't want the kids to make the mistake that I made. I, I look at them, and the hardest thing for me to ever deal with when a child walked up to me one day and said, I used to look up to you. As far as EJ Jr., when we got him, we thought that he would help us. Uh, he got hurt early in training camp and wasn't able to do much, and that's when every, all the critics got on him. But uh, since he's been healthy, he's been playing real well for us. Yes, Shula's had his troubles during the past few years. But let's not forget, this is the winningest active coach well, I don't spend a lot of time feeling sorry for myself. What you do when you lose them, you know you can't go back and change the score, but you try to learn something from having gone through the negative experience and, and hopefully uh, utilize that the next time that you have the opportunity to get better. And this year is the uh, next time. But if you don't make it, everybody said, well, you know, it's just another season. Nobody remembers who, what you did during the season. Everybody said, well, what have you done for me lately? The question remains at six and four, are we having any fun yet? I'm having more fun now after that holdout than I have for the first three years because basically we're winning. I'll throw you a real softball for a finale. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. happy in Miami? <laughs> <laughs> Am I happy in Miami? No. I want to trade it today. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see after the lean years that Marino and other Dolphins can still have a good laugh at least once in a while. I tell you what they're laughing about is that their last six games, acts are against teams who are, have a combined record of 20 and 40. Of all the playoff contenders, the Dolphins have the easiest schedule.